Hi, it's Al, and I'm <coughs> wanting to do a video on guiding you for the proper selection of batteries for your solar project. So why are batteries important? Um, well, they are where you store your energy, and uh, if you don't choose the right battery, you're going to be spending a lot of money very frequently in replacing those. Uh, generally speaking, batteries come in two models. One is the regular car battery and the other one would be the deep cycle battery and they are very different in several ways uh, but they are <coughs> identical in other ways so all batteries are made up of um, plates of lead um, and lead dioxide and they are immersed in a um, in a liquid of uh, uh, which is sulfuric acid so that is called the electrolyte <coughs> and that electrolyte is what facilitates electron flow uh, between the chemical process of uh, or the chemical reaction between the lead plate and the lead oxide plate so <coughs> uh, that's what creates electricity now what is the difference between one battery and another one uh, the car batteries are made to provide very high amperage in very short periods of time. In other words, you can draw a lot of power from them very quickly. The downside to that is that they won't they won't provide that kind of power for very long. They will discharge rather quickly. The deep uh, the uh, uh, deep discharge batteries or uh, golf cart batteries, which are uh, deep cycle, they have much thicker lead plates so the material within the plates is a lot thicker which allows it to provide a lot more power or create a lot more power and store a lot more power and they can provide that power for very long periods of time but they are not very good at providing high amperage loads or high amounts of power in a very short period of time when you crank an engine the alternator has to draw power from the battery and those alternators to, if you can imagine, <coughs> turn that engine over as quickly as they do and overcome the compression of the cylinders, uh, they require a lot of power. So that's why a car battery has thin plates and, and those thin plates provide for the electron flow to occur much faster and so therefore they produce uh, a high amperage. But they don't store a whole lot of energy. The deep cycle batteries have much thicker plates. They'll last a lot longer because as you uh, go through these charge and, and discharge cycles, uh, some of that lead is going to be converted uh, into, uh, it's going to oxidize in, in some ways and it's going to sulfate. And so <coughs> your battery lose power uh, over time because of the exhaustion of the lead plates. And so the thicker the lead plate, the longer the battery is going to last. So the deep cycle batteries have one thing uh, which we want, which is the very thick lead plates, which means they're going to last a very long time before that lead is depleted. It also allows you to store lots and lots of energy. It, lo it allows you to draw power from it uh, slowly, but for a long period of time. And it also allows you um, to have that battery last many, many years. And so that is the bas basic difference between one kind of battery and another. Now, <coughs> which deep cycle battery should you purchase? Well, yeah, I am the opinion that you should purchase a good golf cart battery like uh, you would find at Interstate. So Interstate has a, and I'm going to move this over, Interstate has a um, deep cycle battery made for golf carts. You know, bring it up here so you can see it, <coughs> which is the uh, 6 volt, um, it's called the GC2-XHD. Uh, and so those are the ones that are used in my uh, in my solar uh, battery bank. And they are 6 volts batteries, And but uh, what's important is that their amperage rating at 20 hours, 232 amp hours. What does this mean? It means that <coughs> this battery will produce 232 amps an hour for 20 hours continuously so that's that's a lot of load right so that's a lot of power being stored in this battery uh, and this battery weighs uh, let me see if that weight is here somewhere uh, it is not 
So I'm going to open up a different uh, browser and show you the weight of that battery. But I believe it's around 67 pounds. So let's try the uh, Interstate GC2 battery. We'll go here and we're going to go to Interstate Batteries, which will tell us uh, the actual weight. So as you can see here, each battery weighs 66.7 pounds. Okay, so that's an important number to keep in mind. So 66.7 pounds. The capacity at 20 hours is 232 amps, and the reserve capacity at 25, uh, meaning uh, drawing, uh, what reserve capacity is 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 how much or how long will the battery last at a given uh, continuous load. So in this case, when you see that dash 25, that means they're putting a 25 amp draw on this battery. And at a 25 amp draw, it will last you 474 minutes. So what does that mean? Well, if we convert 474 into hours, which is 474 minutes, divided by 60 minutes, you could go eight hours supplying a 25 amp continuous load on this battery. That's an enormous amount of power when you think about the fact that you can draw 25 amps for 8 hours straight before the battery is completely depleted. So, this GC2 battery is a very good battery. It weighs 67, 67 pounds essentially and provides 232 amp hours. Now, the best battery in the market is considered to be the Rolls uh, Surret. Or, uh, this Rolls Surret battery are by far the industry's best, or they are touted to be, and they're very expensive batteries <coughs> that will run you, you know, uh, well the cheapest one that you can find here uh, is for the 400 amp, would be this one here for 339 so 339 dollars will get you a 6 volt roll to red battery that has a 400 amp hour capacity. This battery, I believe, weighs around 130. Uh, no, it weighs. Let me see how much does that weigh. I'm gonna try to get to a better, a better site that gives me that battery. So we're gonna go to the Rolls battery home, and we're gonna look at the actual. Oh, there we go. Uh, Civic Solar will tell us. They. Uh, that's actually a quick quick way of looking it up. <coughs> oh, I picked on the wrong one. I wanted the 400 amp battery, which is the closest one. So if we look at the Rolls of Red battery uh, on a 400 amp uh, battery, the capacity for 20 hours is 400 amps. Well, on the interstate is 232 amps. So let's do the math on that. We do. 232 times 2 equals 464 amps. Okay? Why times 2? Because if you look at the price here, the price on this battery is, well, here is $389, and the other website that I showed you is $340. So let's say it's $340. So for $340, you get 400 amps <coughs> at 20 hours. Here, you have a cost of $150. So that's $150 times 2 should be 300 So for $300, you can get 464 amp hours versus $349, excuse me, $350 to get 400 amps. So, <coughs> the important thing to remember is to always look at the specifications of the battery that you're looking for. Always look for a good quality deep cycle battery. They are both deep cycle wet batteries, lead acid, flooded lead acid. They are both 6 volts. This one is 400 amps. The interstate battery is 232 amps, but the price on this battery on the interstate is $150, and the red battery is three is 
$350. So for $50 or less, <coughs> without shipping, uh, for $300, for $50 or less, you get 62 more amps out of this battery. But that doesn't tell the whole story. <coughs> if you notice, the weight on this battery is 66.7. Let's round that off to 67 pounds. So an interstate battery has 67 pounds in weight, which means most of that is lead. It's made of, of the plates. When we look at the roll is it's 117. So let's do the math real quick. If you have two batteries of the interstate, which cost the same as one surette, and each one weighs 67 pounds, and that's 67 times 2, gives you 134 pounds of lead, essentially, versus 117. So now we have several things to consider. Two golf car batteries from interstate, of the kind that I just showed you, the GC2s, will run you $50 less than the highest quality rolls to red battery, which are made specifically for solar applications. It will give you 64 amps of power, uh, of more power than a rolls to red, and weighs approximately 15 pounds more than in lead than the rolls to red, meaning it has more lead which also means it will last longer before all the lead depletes out of the plates. So, <coughs> the moral to the story here is that when you are purchasing solar batteries for your system, don't necessarily go by what everybody's telling you, do your own research and compare. I've had these batteries myself, I have a bank of them that's been going on almost uh, for five years now, four and a half years, another one that's three and a half years old. Never had a leak problem with them. So uh, these are batteries that are properly maintained will last you as long as the, the finest rolls to red battery. So uh, take that for whatever it's worth. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless everybody. Take care.